Cobra! Dr. Mindbender, come in! Are these latest batch of bats from Super 7 ready for battlefield deployment? Come in, you dolt! Well, Cobra Commander might be having trouble getting hold of Dr. Mindbender, but in this video, let's help him out and look at the bat action figure from Super 7 Ultimates. A Cobra android operative willing to make trouble for any G.I. Joe soldier unlucky enough to cross paths with them. So let's talk about them on Tac Tac Toys with Film. And as you can see here, this is the packaging of the Super 7 G.I. Joe Ultimate Bat alongside two of my classified battalion commandos. And I'll talk more about those in the video coming up. But until then, as I say, let's talk more about Super 7 Ultimate's G.I. Joe Bat on Tac Tac Toys with Film. So Super 7 Ultimates have got the G.I. Joe license um, and are making seven inch scale cartoon accurate action figures based on the G.I. Joe property. Here is obviously the bat out of the package, which we're gonna see more of in the video, alongside his classified counterpart, the Python Patrol bat. And they look like they're getting on very well in this photo, don't they? Um, G.I. Joe is a 1980s cartoon based on an elite American fighting force of specialized soldiers who combat Cobra, which is a ruthless terrorist organization of which the Battle Android Trooper or Bat are members of. And I'm predominantly a G.I. Joe classified collector myself, G.I. Joe classified being Hasbro's six inch version of their G.I. Joe property, which scales with Marvel Legends and other six inch lines. I initially only wanted the Bat as I felt he could fit, or it could fit into my classified collection as a super Battle Android Trooper alongside six inch classified Bat versions on the battlefield so first off let's look at the packaging and like all super 7 ultimates the bat comes in a brown shipper box which is displayed here here's the front of the box obviously displaying the gi joe logo and saying bat on the front here's the back of the box with the gi joe logo lots of information probably in different languages um yeah here's a lovely picture of the man inside or the the character inside as i should say here's the shipper box uh, the inside the shipper box you've got the actual blue uh, Cobra slip case, which looks absolutely lovely with a large red Cobra logo. Again, here's another photo of the bat inside, and we're gonna get to that. Um, so yeah, you take, I've taken this sort of packaging off, off the display case, as you can see here, it's got a lovely Cobra logo on the front. Um, very nice packaging. You can literally just slip it up and you'll see the figure inside. Um, so that's quite a nice touch, obviously for display options, depending on if you open or, or keep your figure in package. Um, here's some artwork with the bat sort of walking away from an explosion. The back of the blue slip case has the G.I. Joe logo on it with kind of, you know, a bit of khaki um, or camouflage design. And uh, here's the slip case off showing the bat figure in package. And as I say, two of my G.I. Joe classified battalion commandos guarding him or standing next to him. Now my G.I. Joe classified battalion commandos are sort of what in my in my law or in my head they're bat soldiers that have been captured by G.I. Joe and reprogrammed to serve for freedom and liberty. A bit like how in Terminator 2 the Terminator was captured by the human resistance to serve against Skynet. And if you're enjoying this video don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to comment and subscribe. So moving on to the back of the box there's a write-up on the bat and what it says in summary is bats are perfect cobra troopers they never question orders or surrender they are cheap and easy to replace however bats do not react well to changes in battlefield conditions and don't discriminate between targets they will shoot at anything that moves which is friend or foe so my question while we're looking at the back, back of the packaging for you is have you got any super 7 ultimate gi joe action figures already or are you a classified collector? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And also, if you haven't picked any up and you're on the fence, what you actually think about, uh, um, yeah, what you actually think about the packaging so far. Sorry, I just showed, saw myself pointing out the, um, the bio there, which you can pause the video if you want to and read in further description. I know it's obviously in quite small letters, but in essence, it just describes what, what the bat is kind of um, all about. So we're gonna move on then from looking at the back of the package in here, which does have a lovely sort of like, you know, display to it. We're gonna look at what the Cobra Bat looks like out of the packaging, and here we go. Here he is out the, or it is out the packaging. 
you must remember it's an it. Um, I picked up three of these from Super 7 Direct, but I also have some coming from Comics and Cocktails here in the UK at some point. And yeah, um, he look, it looks great out of the packaging. Very cartoon accurate. Obviously the classified version is more of a kind of like, you know, updated look, modernised look for the bat. Um, at the time when I actually pre-ordered these, the, the classified bat wasn't shown. So obviously this is my only choice um, for a bat, so I ordered quite a few. But obviously since then we've had the classified bat in a few different versions. And again here is the class, the Super 7 uh, Ultimate Bat, sorry, next to my G.I. Joe Classified Custom Commando, uh, com Battalion Commando. So you can see how they scale, and obviously it does tower over the sort of classified size figure. Um, so if you did want to incorporate him into a classified collection, obviously it could be like a super android. And yeah, okay, um, as I mentioned there, he was next to my custom. Let's have a look at the articulation. So the head moves up and down, left to right, as you can see there, a decent amount. The backpack will hinder articulation a little bit, but it does move up and down. The hand, the arms move out 90 degrees. There's, full, uh, there's a single um, elbow joint, full uh, shoulder rotation on there you know you've got full rotation at the wrists but the wrists are a little bit tight as, as I'm showing there there's a single rotation yeah on the elbow um, yeah on the other side which we'll see in a moment I think we move to the other, the other arm yeah same thing uh, as you'd expect full shoulder, shoulder rotation as you can see there single uh, jointed elbow um, he's holding one of his rifles I think this is the rifle that you do see quite regularly in the cartoon the waist is on a ball joint, so it gives you a nice bit of flexibility there, a little bit of flexibility, not a massive amount. Legs go out a decent amount, single jointed knees, full boot rotation. Um, the ankle has got obviously articulation. It is a slight ankle rocker, but it doesn't provide much use, to be honest. So it's kind of, yeah, as you can see there again, boot cut in use and a single jointed knee. It's not massive amount of articulation which obviously super 7 is known for having less articulation but it's got a very cartoon accurate look which is kind of what you want if you wanted to pick purchase these figures and now let's look at what the super 7 ultimate bat comes with so first of all he comes with a battle damaged head which is showing off some blue sparks there so yeah you can obviously switch out the heads he does come with quite a lot of accessories which we're going to go through but that's the battle damaged head so if you buy a few of these, you can obviously display one with a battle damaged head. That, those blue sparks aren't removable as far as I'm aware. I couldn't remove them um, when I was trying to. Next up, the battle damaged, uh, the bat, sorry, comes with a battle damaged arm, which you can see here. The actual um, circuitry at the top, the wiring and circuitry is removable. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't know if it's meant to be removable and if the arm can be plugged in. Um, that is something which I'll talk about later in the video. Hey, you have to be careful with some of the parts on this figure but we'll, we'll get into that so there's a battle damaged arm that the figure comes with as I say here next up you've got um, a variety of hands so he comes with two fisted hands um, which I think they no, it doesn't come with that on the package actually so he comes with two fisted hands that's one of them and that's the other fisted hand he also comes with mm. sort of two open gripped hands which you can see mm. here um, these don't hold the weapons I thought these might hold the weapons but they don't hold the gun so I'm not really sure what these are good for really I suppose mm -hmm. like a ch choke hold or something like that but yeah sort of slightly open palmed hands mm -hmm. which he comes with the hands can be a little bit difficult to um, connect to the figure and you probably might need to use a hairdryer I was able to do it without a hairdryer but um, you may well need to heat the heat up either the figure or the hands or both in hot water or a hairdryer just to apply them um, yeah okay so that's the hands um, he comes with a kind of neck piece with sparks so if you wanted to replace the head and getting just a neck piece there with sort of sparks and battle damage you can do that so as you can see he does like most super 7 ultimates figures he does come with an array of fit, uh, accessories and then <clears throat> i think i'm just going to show you another picture yet of the super 7 uh, bat next to one of my again my bat battalion commandos from gi joe and as you can see there is quite a height difference but Again, it's a figure that you can work in. I suppose Duke, an Ultimate's Duke or Ultimate's Cobra Command is going to look, look a bit silly, obviously, next to Classified because of the height scale, the difference in height scale. There's a pistol that the um, the bat comes with, which obviously you can holster on his on his thigh. Um, 
I, I did find, well, I'm going to talk about this later, but I did find that one of my thigh holsters had a loose piece, which I'll show later. There's some sparks which can be attached to the figure, I think either in the chest or possibly the head, but they can be attached in the actual chest piece. The, the sort of perspex um, piece of the chest uh, armour or what have you is removable. I haven't actually tried to remove it on mine. Um, yeah, and then that's, as I say, that's the actual holster part that came loose. I, out of the three, it only happened on one, and the other two were fine, so they stuck there. So here's the comparison probably that everyone wants to see, obviously next to a classified Python Patrol bat. Um, again, like my battalion commandos, there's quite a difference in scale. The bat would, like I say, would probably work with your classified figures as a kind of super android, but anything else, well, you, you know, you could use your imagination and fudge things, like. but um, yeah, obviously Duke or Snake Eyes or... Cobra Commander from Wave One. If they were human characters, they're gonna they're gonna just look too tall next to your classified figures. I mean, you could imagine that they're sort of android replacements or something. But um, yeah, you know, like an android replacement Duke or something. But if not, if it's if they are human counterparts, they are going to be too tall. So again, he's been shown here next to a few of my battalion classified battalion commandos. Um, they're captured bats in my mind. That have been reprogrammed by G.I. Joe. I'm hoping that maybe Classified might give us some version of something like that. They are enjoying giving us a few of their own versions of bats. Um, obviously, we've got the Crimson Bats and they've teased Snow Bats. So, obviously, we might get a few more versions. We might even get a few more versions in Super 7. You never know. We obviously had that comic version as a, a Comic Con exclusive. Here's the backpack with the parts now ideally what you want to do is fit the, the weapons into the backpack before fitting it on the figure like I'm doing here if you do it the other way around there's a good chance that the straps should we say that connect to the backpack which yeah you can see me putting my thumb on there the straps that connect to the backpack will break and in fact I did find that uh, um, as I was taking one out of the package a couple of times the, the backpack straps did actually break and this is something I want to mention as a sort of negative I've had this happen to a few Super 7 Ultimates figures. Some of the parts can break quite easily, which at a 55 pound or dollar price point can be obviously not really acceptable. You kind of want everything to be durable. Here is the Super 7 Bat next to a Valiverse Action Force Delta Trooper. So again, you can see there's quite a scale in size difference, but the Delta Trooper seems to be handling the Bat okay. They seem to be you know, <clears throat> playing nice at the moment. That could all change at any minute if it kicks off but yeah again um your human counterparts are going to look you know obviously a, a bit sm like smaller compa compared if they're six inch figures and obviously delta Troop delta trooper is going to um go, go into battle there against the bat so yeah that's a few size comparisons that's a look at the the super seven classifier uh, super seven sorry ultimates bat here he is again uh, in package and out of the package and you know you can always watch the um, cartoon the G.I. Joe cartoon to see more of the bat and if you like film and tv check out filmandtv.com and link for that is in the description below and for all the latest Marvel Legends news and reviews you can check out Dan Who Reviews every Thursday with Rich M you can also check out for action figure reviews in the UK, Jay's Toy Collection UK. If you want action figure reviews in Ireland, you can check out Brian's action figure reviews. For action figure reviews in the US, you can check out Miguel and the Wolfpack Toy Review. You can also check out Dante and the Infinity Equation. You can check out Austin, the Hero of Collectors. And you can also check out for old things Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, and all sorts of different scales, Trevor the 1-6 Shooter. And for action figure chat and pop culture discussion, you can check out the Three POA podcast. And links for everything there mentioned will be in the comments below. And for all the latest pre-orders and purchases, you can check out Props and Replicas. Why not check out Comics and Cocktails for some of your action figure purchases? Check out Valiverse.com. For all the latest action figure, action force purchases with international shipping, check out the whole shebang. Check out Star Action Figures. And links for everything I'm mentioning are in the comments below. You can check out Kapow Toys. Why not check out all the cool stuff?
And finally, you can check out In Demand Toys. And as I mentioned before, links for everything will be in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching as always. We have got a tease on the horizon at the time of this video, which is this Cobra from Super 7. Presumably it'll be the next wave of Ultimates, which might include Zartan. But until next time, make sure you enjoy those flicks and figs.